can Shiba Inu be off-leash? A very common question asked on this channel. Can a Shiba Inu be off-leash? I will answer this question in depth in this video, but before we jump in, if this is your first time here, welcome to my channel, where we share Shiba Inu training tips and tricks and life with dog videos. Subscribe to get all the answers you are looking for for this unique breed. Now, let's dive in. The short answer is no. You should not let your Shiba Inu off-leash, ever, period. I know there are people out there that successfully train their Shiba Inu to be incredibly responsive to recall, but that would be really unusual for a normal human being, like myself, and probably you who are watching this video. Shiba Inu is a primitive breed and it has strong hunting instinct. It used to be human's hunting partner hundreds of years ago, and it still carries that trait. Being a primitive breed, meaning when their nature is calling, they have a stronger urge to follow their instinct instead of your command. It is not that they are not obedient or they don't want to listen to you. It is just the way they are wired and you kind of just have to accept it and live with it. On this channel, I know we have a few videos where we let Jimmy off-leash under high supervision. Typically, I recommend having at least two people around when you let your dog off-leash. If it is a hiking trail setting, you can have one person walking up front, dog in the middle, while the other person be in the back. So the dog is kind of between two people when off-leash, and you still have some control over where your dog is going and able to react if something goes wrong. Another thing you can try if you really want to let your Shiba Inu off-leash. First, work on recall in a more controlled environment, like your backyard, and once he is accustomed to the recall queue, you can take him to off-leash park to train the recall. You will notice it is ultra difficult to train recall in a distracted environment, like the dog park. The truth is, Jimmy still doesn't respond to recall too great in a dog park setting, and most times he comes to me because he decided that it is time to go home. It's not because he is obedient and responds to my recall. The other thing you can do, and you already know, is to keep some of his favorite treats handy if you let him off-leash in the wild. Although, in my own experience, Jimmy doesn't really respond to any food if he decides to go wild. There was one time Jimmy decides to go after some horse or pig poop, and he ran so far that we thought we lost him. He eventually came back after what feels like forever with all poops on his belly and everything like a stinky ball. We showered him two or three times once we got back to try to wash off all the poops he got himself into. It was not a fun experience at all. So the experience is just showing that once a Shiba Inu decides to go to do something, no one can really call it back like Jimmy decides to roll himself in a poop bath and none of us can stop him from doing it. So now you have it. Can a Shiba Inu be off-leash? I do not recommend it at all. But if you insist, please proceed in your own risk. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have other questions about this unique breed, please leave me a comment below to let me know and I will do my best to respond. Be safe, my friend, and I will see you next time.